What's up everybody? This is Coach Burrow and I wanted to share with you a nice short activation routine before I will go for my run and we will do three simple exercises and the first one is the push-up walkout with the option of adding a yoga push-up to it we will do five sequence of it so let's start with our first one and walk back and you can always uh, walk your hands forward without doing any push-ups or do whichever push-ups you want to do and we're going for a second one elbows down roll forward and get back up listen to what your body has to say walk your hands forward go down to the ground or not downward facing dog elbows down roll forward and then get back up three we got two more here what you, what you decide to do is up to you four downward facing dog roll back forward and you got one more touch the sky walk your hands forward go down to the ground get back up downward facing dog roll your shoulders forward and then walk back our next exercise will be the sprinter so you're going to put one foot directly in front of your knee and you're going to lift your butt up in the air one with more weight two on the front leg three you're going to feel a nice stretch four in the posterior chain five of the leg ahead of you six Seven, it's important to have more weight. Eight on that front leg. Nine, not a lot of weight on your hands. Ten. And let's switch side. The back foot should only be there. One. Resting. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, feel that nice stretch. Nine and ten. Good job. And we're gonna do the knee hug. You're gonna do ten of them. So let's start with our first one. One. Squat down, lift that knee towards your chest. Two. Three. Feel that glute firing up. Four, that glute of the leg that is on the ground. Five, so it would be my right glute. Six. How many times can you say glute in one minute? Seven. Eight. Nine. The glutes. Ten are this amazing these amazing muscles for to help you with speed. And you hug other side. One. When you're running. Two. Take care of your body. Three, and you learn to activate that part of it. Four, you'd, you'd be surprised how fast you can run. Five, and six, how little chances seven of injuries that you may have. Eight, doesn't keep you from getting hurt. Nine, but it sure as hell helps. One more, so let's go back to the back of the mat with the push-up walkout with the option of adding a yoga push-up. It's simple today. Let's go for our first rep. All you want to do is heat up that body and just get it moving so that when you get out the door or into the trail, two, downward facing dog, elbows down, roll forward simple as that going for our third repetition three you decide what kind of push-up you want to do do what feels right and I'm okay with that it's 
go for our fourth one down to the ground you can either do any push-up you want or none walk back your hands let's do our last push-up walkout and down to the ground downward facing dog elbows down go forward and get back up Next one, we all know it, the sprinter. It's a classic one. Two, because let's face it, three, a lot of us. Four, have tight hamstrings. Five, this is a dynamic stretch. Six, therefore, seven, you are not staying there. Eight, for a long time. Nine, we're just trying to wake up. Ten, let's switch side the muscles activate one that's why you called it two dynamic stretching three because we involve movement four we're activating five the body six seven if i wanted to rest eight i would be holding my stretch nine for about a minute or more ten let's do the knee hug squat down Grab that knee, any knee really, one, we're going to do both sides anyway, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tap. Awesome. Other side. One, you probably can't really see. Two, but I'm wearing those three llama socks from Four Endure Apparel. Five, six, and am enjoying my second skin. Seven from Brubeck Bodyguard. Eight, you can check the link below. Nine, if you ever want to get some amazing. Ten, athletic wear. Let's uh, go back to our last push up walkout. Third set. Oh, yeah. I love those. Just it's a great way to start your day. Down to the ground. Downward facing dog. Elbows down. Roll you forward. Shoulders forward. And walk back. One. Walk your hands forward. Let's go down to the ground. Downward facing dog. Elbows down. Roll forward and get back up. Two. Yeah, three more. Walk your hands forward. Go down to the ground. Get back up. Elbows down. Roll forward. Oh yeah. Three. There's uh, something I really like doing when I do those is try to be smooth. Going for four, try to feel fluidity in my movement. Something I've been working on for the past couple of months. Bring fluidity four. It's either four or five, I'm not sure into my movements feels good uh, that was five so let's go for a sprinter one two three four five six seven eight nine and tap awesome switch side and one two three feeling more supple four five starting to get ready for my amazing run six seven 
eight, nine, and ten. And let's do our last knee hugs. Something simple. One doesn't need to be much. Two. All it needs to be. Three is consistent. Four and just need to heat up that body. Five. Get the engine going. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good. Let's do the other side. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Take your time. Six. As you get seven more supple, that knee gets closer. Eight to your chest. And as you get more stable as well. Nine. And ten. So we're all ready to get going. And uh, thank you so much for watching. You can always uh, smash that like button if you like what you see. Or bump it. And or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. I'm looking forward to be seeing you next time. Gotta say, gotta love a shorty but a goodie. Have a good day.